which in the two manuscripts of Hildegard's music is different. <laughs> One says nunc, and the other it says podie. So one is now, and one is today. So when we see something like that, you know, we think, oh, different scribe, different sort of period of, of transcription, but it doesn't matter. So when we look at something like podie, today, most likely, we see this song was really celebrating the feast of the Nativity. But when you say nunc, say now. What I love about nunc is that it's literally right now in the present. And that's something I love about medieval music and chant. It's always about the moment. We're always just drawn into this crystallized, essence. And we can put whatever we want in that moment. And for me, you know, as someone who spends a lot of time with Hildegard, it's, 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 a, it's a really, it's a blessing to be able to see, to say, a relationship or something of a co-creating. And what's really wonderful about this collection of people so we get to do that together. And that's a crazy blessing for me. So we talk about now a bolted gate is now open. And what is really important when we look at the poetry of Hildegard is that we see it not with a conscious mind, but with the mystical heart. And it's really sort of letting the words uh, build a relationship with the words and seeing how that communicates with you personally. I'm going to use the symphonia for this chant. The symphonia is this, this uh, instrument, sometimes considered like a bowed fiddle. It's a more sort of early version of a hurdy-gurdy. And if you can play two on it, but I love to use it as this sort of foundation of sound, this drum. And it really lets, um, lets our ears sort of attune to that sort of foundation. And then hearing the consonants and dissonance play with the, with the affect, with the intention of the text, and it's just the way we receive that sound. That's also just full of all this great personal meaning.